hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will work on our main menus for that in the scenes we have this sample scene if you open it as you can see it is an empty scene let's actually click on this flooded ground again click on scenes and then we have this scene a okay so let's rename this to zombie land Okay, click on reload and now as you can see it has changed to zombie land and now get back to the scenes right here we have the sample scene open it and rename this to main menu click on reload and now we have the main menu right here let's create a UI canvas by the name of main menu and then in here add an image by the name of menu and if you go inside the sprites we have these two images so let's drag and drop this one there click on set native size and actually we can add this image as well okay click on set native size and then in here let's add a UI text Let's go inside the scene. Okay, here is the image. And then we have this text. Let's name this as Zombie Land. Oops. And right here, change this to a nameplate. The nameplate will be Zombie Land. Make this bold, select the font, let's change the size to 50, let's make the width 4 to 1 and the height 77, okay, here is the text, let's turn on the business, absolutely that, change the color to white. And let's actually select the zombie font and see how this will look in the zombie font okay it doesn't look good in that one so we will leave that leave this right like this let's actually let's click on this and select the center top it will not show because it is outside the canvas but if you play the game, it will look like this. So we need to make this image a little bit bigger. So what we can do, we can click on the menu and let's change the width to 1920 and then 900. Okay, and now if you play it, okay, it is has some problem there. So let's change this to, for example, 7. And now if we play it okay as you can see it seems perfect but we need to make this text a little bit down so let's drag this a little bit down below for example there now after the nameplate we need to add the buttons but Actually, let's just uh, animate our zombie land text. Okay, so for animating that, let's click on animation, then click on create in the assets folder. Let's create a new folder by the name of animations, and in here we will create an animation by the name of nameplate. Click save. Now we can animate this. And in order to do that, click on this record. And let's actually change the color of it, okay? So we will make this black. As you can see, make this black and then again white. Let's stop it. Okay, let's actually delete that. Let's record again. Change its color to this point. 
okay then move this right here and then change its color again I think that will be it as you can see now it is being animated but actually let's move this to for example 5 seconds so we will try and drop that there now the animation will happen slowly as you can see And guys actually you can make the color red if you want in the same way you can change the color as well just delete that other one click on record and let's record it right there let's change its color to oops let me change that one let's change it to there and then right here let's change it to fully red like that now let's stop it and as you can see its color is changing to red and now let's move it to 5 seconds and now the animation will go down slowly as you can see and actually let's move this to 142 ok so in this way you can animate the nameplate if you play the game you will notice it as you can see the color is changing okay and guys now let's just add the buttons as well right here so for that let me actually save this scene and go in here let's open up the zombie land and then let's open up this menu let's make a prefab out of this pause menu so just simply drag and drop that and click on unpack completely okay make sure that you unpack that completely we just move the prefab now get back to the scene go inside prefabs let's drag and drop the preview. I think if we added that inside that prefabs folder okay remove that from there and add this to this folder okay and now let's just try and drop that in there and if we activate this let's unpack it we have these buttons so what we can do with these buttons is inside the menu let's just and drag and drop them okay right here as you can see it has the buttons let's delete that okay and let's move these buttons to middle center and then move the resume button up here then move this one to here and this one right here okay now we have the buttons let's play the game okay here are the buttons as you can see let's change this button to play button and in here change the text to play and change the menu button to option button and then change the text to options okay and the quit button will be the same now as you can see we have the buttons we have the nameplate for our game now the next thing which we will be doing is to create the select player option okay so when the player click on this option then we will give him the option to select different players and for that we need to create a menu but we will do that in the next video so catch you guys in the next one